Quiz vlogging and it's my uh, sixth I vlog experience. So thank you, this channel, for the opportunity. Right. So last uh, I vlog, ang nag, nag trending don at the end of the day na alalok. At the end of the day, lahi niyo siya sa akin. Pero sa tingin ko ng yung uh, I vlog, yung there's a thin line. Yung nagano sa akin. There's a thin line between. There's a thin line between yung matitain sa akin. So let's differentiate first what's a hobby and what is a business. So a hobby is, for example, you want you parang ano, you want to play basketball. So that's your hobby. Pag napagod ka, you eat. I mean, nagluto, you eat. Kapag uh, inato ka, so you sleep and then self. But in a business. A business is so then may dalawang uh, parang general uh, categorization of business. There's the product side and then the service side. So if you are a product creator, so you create the product, you sell, and then it repeats itself. But if you're on the service side, say for example you do SEO, you you write like that, so you look for a need. And then you look for someone who needs the lead and then transact with it. So you, 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 you nagi e client mo. And after that, you do your thing, do your magic. And then you collect payments. And then it repeats itself. So you can see, wala dito yung, yung play, yung eat, at saka yung sleep. Who can relate to that? But if you do your business well, I'm sure you can have those sleep, you play. And then you have more and still to earn a very good uh, income. So again, I'll be sharing with you seven steps on how to you know turn your hobby blog into a business. The first step is to test your hobby. So you need to make sure first kung may interesado ba sa hobby mo. So alibawa, meeting, pag-hobby ng ano, may interested ba kapag gagawin mo yun. So, how do you know if there are interested, um, you know, followers? Una, I'm sorry. First, uh, I want you to remember this acronym, ARC. ARC. So, A stands for ask. Ask your readers. So, for example, you can ask them, if, if I create an ebook on meeting, will you be, be buying it? Or not? So, that's the first question, ask. And then R is for research. So yung mga tools na binigay ni Sir Benjito kanina, you can use those in Google Analytics, uh, in Google Trends, yung uh, Google Keyword Planner. So you can also use them. You can also use, you can also research in Amazon.com. Say for example, you search a keyword on uh, meeting. So if there there are products na lumitaw din sa nini, probably that's a good sign na interested yung mga tao sa hobby mo. And then K is for no. You know, you know your existing uh, traffic. Say for example, uh, may good amount of traffic na sa blog mo. So probably, sinusundan talaga yung hobby mo. So the first step is to test your hobby. You know. The second is analyze your investments. So by investment, it doesn't necessarily mean monetary lang yun. Investments are ano yun, treaties, time, treasure, and talent. So you treasure, that's probably your money. The time is how are you going to you know go about it? For example, you have some errands or you still have your work, how are you able to manage those investments? And effort is, you know, how are you going to proceed with it? So that's the second step. The third step is assign job titles. So kanina naririnig din na yung mga content marketers, yung mga community managers, yung mga SO specialists. So if you want to turn your your hobby blog into a business, know the titles. So there are actually roles in the business. So who will do the content managing, who will do the SEO. So if you plan to do everything, yung lahat ng mga yun, make sure that you know the titles. Okay, next, 
Number four, create business procedures. So, ito yung nagsa-separate kanina, the hobby to the business. So, business actually has procedures. See, for example, yung mga kanina, mga nag-speak nag kanina, uh, how to manage the Twitter, how to, yung mga steps na binigay kanina, those are actually procedures. It's a uh, Parang, parang black and white documentation of what you are going to do. So, begin to an example. Alright. So, yung kanina, binigyan tayo ng example ng ID, ideation. So, actually, it's, ano lang, yung, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Kanina, ang, ang topic natin ay uh, content creation. So, paano ba talaga magumuha ng content creation? Una, is ideation or the brainstorm. Next is the research. And then you define the structure. Next is the content creation itself. And then testing and then refine. So what I'm just trying to say is when you create your business procedures, you use step by step talaga. Step one, step two, screenshot, then again. So that's step number four. Step number five, you design the revenue model. So here is where the fun begins. So, you need to decide, you need to identify paano ka na niyang kikita sa hobby mo. Are you going to, kanina I presented yung dalawang general types of business. Are you going to the product section, yung magkagawa ka ng product? Or are you going to search for products related to your business and then set it? Or if you, you go to the uh, service, say for example, you do an SEO service, or are you going to create leads to your blogs that will cater, you know, uh, parang sales, uh, I mean, uh, landing page that will go to the service mode. So, how do you um, design the revenue model? It's up to you. Okay. And then six, set goals and targets. So, it's not just you building your business and then wala ka naman palang talagang uh, something to aim. So, for example, of course, when a business is being talked about, for example, ang example natin, uh, money, so your goal is to earn money. However, your target for the month is ano ba? Say, for example, sa first month, ang target ko, 100 US dollars. So, you specifically set your goals and targets for the month or for the week or even for the entire uh, lifespan ng business mo. So, setting goals and targets is important kasi dun mag, mag uh, kumbaga, dun mapa-platform yung mga yung mga activities mo. Okay? So, the last is uh, business plan continuity. So, basically, ano ba yung nandito? Uh, the question ng uh, pinupundi na lang natin is how do you go about from here? So once you have set yung mga first one to six steps, ano ba yung mga plan mo after that? So just to recap. The first step is to test your hobby. Next is to analyze your investments. And then assign job titles. Create business procedures is step number four. And step number five, design the revenue model. Step number six, set goals and uh, targets. Step number seven, plan your business continuity. So before I end, don't forget this. And this is important. Protect your original love for your hobby. I said that's the important thing. You got your business in the first place because you have a hobby. So you have to protect your love for that. Sabi dito, don't ever let your blog turn your passion into work. Always have passion in what you are doing. And use, use that burning passion to create products and services. When you have a great passion for your work, yung mga ideas, yung mga uh, anything na ano, talagang it, it comes naturally when you have your passion. And in return, you convert your loyal followers into consumers. It's easy to earn money. Sabi nga niya, no, don't, uh, uh, don't pursue the money. Pursue your passion, and then it will follow. Thank you.
Thank you, Louis. So our our, le our next and the last speaker is the senior associate affiliate marketing of the Senate Group on the topic of lessons learned about integration. Victoria Dolban. Good afternoon, everyone. So for today, I'll be talking about how through your blog, you'll be able to earn commissions through the affiliate marketing program of various websites like Lazada. So shortly about myself, uh, I've only been with Lazada uh, with the affiliate program for two months, but it doesn't take long for you to realize that this is a viable way of earning money. And in fact, I have an affiliate who would always text me my cost, kailan yung payout for month of November, kailan yung payout for month of October. And then when we actually met, parang I found out that the money that he got from the affiliate program is what he used uh, to, to pay his um, tuition. And then we studies in Ateneo. So, kaya. Okay, so what is the affiliate marketing program? It is a performance based marketing wherein the affiliate gets rewarded for promoting a company or the products that the company has. So, yung dalawang major na structures for um, affiliate marketing is CPC or cost per click. So, you get paid based on the traffic or the clicks that you bring to that website. Pero for bloggers, I guess um, what would be more rewarding is if you do well with cost per action. So, cost per action is more challenging because you get paid based on the sales that you create for that company or, for, on, or the products that you actually sell. However, it's also requires you to be more involved. You actually have to engage to your audience. Thus, there's more responsibility. Hindi pwedeng nag-review ka lang ng something na um, poor positive yung, yung um, reviews mo and eventually pag binili ng, ng tao, they have a negative um, comment about that uh, product. Siyempre, you're the one who's answering kasi ikaw yung nag-promote ng yung product yan. So why have that marketing? First, it's um, an, an additional source of income for doing something that you already love. And also, it's free. Uh, all you have to do is invest your time, effort, and we're going to provide you with all the requirements, like with all the um, tools you need to generate the links or the banners, and it doesn't require the readers or your followers to buy right away. There is a cookie shop life period. So within the 30-day period, when they click the links in the video, and then they eventually bought within the 30 days, the sales still get attributed to you. Okay? And as an affiliate, we look at you as an extension of our marketing team. So, you know firsthand, what are going to launch next week or next month. So, that's an advantage then for affiliates. So, in a nutshell, this is how affiliate marketing works. So, you as an affiliate would post a banner or a link which has your affiliate link on it. And then when the customer clicks on it and buys something within the 30-day period, our system, the plan has it, and by the end of the month, we validate all the sales and give you permissions for all the approved um, transactions. So here are our best practices in affiliate marketing. We've divided it into two. So first is on how you promote, so the media, and then on, on the content of your promotions. Okay, so for media optimization, first one is social media is the key. When we had our biggest sale, that was in November 11, when we analyzed where the where the sales are coming from, 50% of those is coming from Facebook alone. So hindi pa kasama yung Twitter, hindi pa kasama yung Instagram, hindi pa kasama yung directly na to generate from your blog to the site. 50%, more than 50% is generated by Facebook. So it's important now whenever you write something on your blog, you schedule it for a social media post. But it's important to control the volume of the posts. Sabi ka din ni Sir, parang it's important na hindi mag-overload yung tao. Kasi the difference is when they go to your blog, they're looking to read something. Pero if you post many, so sa feeds kasi, automatically, they don't get to choose what they see. So kung post ka ng post, they might just end up unfollowing you. Also, build your network. More than your readers, it's your friends and families who trust your suggestions. So use them, and hopefully, if they like something that we recommended to them, they're going to pass it through their friends as well. 
And if there's an option for email subscription, do it. Why? Because for the followers, sometimes it takes time for them to remember that, okay, baka mag-post na ulit yung favorite blog ko. So if they're subscribed, they could reactivate, they could um, go back to your blogs again and uh, refresh themselves of the things that you actually post. And lastly, mobile alerts. The Philippines, especially yung, yung e-commerce natin, is slowly becoming a mobile commerce. Like for Lazada, most a lot of our sales right now is coming from mobile. What's good is for affiliate marketing data, we're able to actually accelerate. We just started like two months ago, but right now it's fully operational that we're able to track both transactions coming from the mobile app and um, the desktop. And what's more important is why the significance of this is that in the Philippines, not everyone can buy a laptop. But a smartphone becomes a necessity. So a lot of people buying through their self optimization. Okay, so first is know your niche. So what do your readers expect from you? Because sometimes big lang um well consistency, like you're blogging about food that was big lang may makeup. So in your makeup, in your makeup. So um kailangan consistent para yung followers mo, alam na kapag gumunta sa blog nito. They're gonna find a specific product that they actually like. But um, you shouldn't be like close-minded. It's all about perception, but not because you're a lifestyle blogger, you can't write about a smartphone. It's um it's on the way that you position the product. And for example, um you have this smartphone, you don't have this, and you're a lifestyle blogger, you don't have to say that um this smartphone has this um processor that would run. Um you can simply say parang, this smartphone can play this um, heavy um, graphics game, see this. So, it, it, it's all about perception. Also, don't hard sell. That's very important. So, you have to back on your own experience, how you like the product, and what are, uh, are there any parang cons when using the product? Also, suggest alternatives. So, similar products, you can suggest similar products. If you're reviewing just one product, we would suggest to give at least at most, rather, at most two alternatives. Because more than that, it would look as if you can assure if you want to actually promote. Also, retailers. So you can say, parang this product, I can buy this from SM, but if I don't have time to go to SM, I don't want to be um, rushed. So I can buy from Lazada or from Zalora. That way, parang, um, you don't really hard sell. You're, you're promoting. But you're giving them options because people they, they appreciate recommendations, but they don't like you to shove it like to their faces. Also, aim for balance. Always, always give the pros and cons of a certain product that you're reviewing or the service that you're getting. And people respond to text and images differently. So you blog that have a balance between text and images. So that's pretty much it for me. Um. I'm going to leave you with a um, golden rule for affiliate marketing. So first, never forget to include your tracking links. This is the only way that we can give you commissions. Without that, um, wala sa yung effort. And um, it's very easy. It doesn't take five minutes to create uh, a link which will give us, um, which will make us track your uh, transactions. Second, make sure that your images are decent. If you're, let's, because, in our experience, we have people reviewing phones. Tapos pag nakita yung pictures, puro smudges. So, hindi ko ganda tignan. No one would click on it. And be patient. All the tools are, are for free. So, familiarize yourself with all the marketing tools available. And all the all other uh, affiliate marketing programs naman would give you free tools as a starter. And analyze your performance from time to time. So, every affiliate program has a platform. And in the platform, there are offers. So every offer, you get to check kung ano offer yung nag work for your site. You could have a lifestyle blog, pero it's actually the electronics banner which is working for you. So you get to just check it from time to time and um, optimize based on the, on the results. Also connect with your audience. It's important that you know what your audience wants to read or wants to um, get from your website. And Lastly, 
Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Not because I'm from Lazada, I'm just promoting the Lazada affiliate program. We have affiliate programs from Amazon. There's one for eBay. So if you can give your audience um, options on where to buy their products or, or the goods they want to buy from, that's better. Because at the end of the day, kita mo yun eh. So whether you're earning from Lazada, you're earning from Amazon, kita mo yun. So I, I guess that's um, that's me. Thank you guys for listening. Louis, two questions. Please approach the microphone. Okay. Sir Louis, then we'll be accommodating two questions on the door. Two questions on uh, making money from blogging. Anyone? Two questions. Can you make a pair? Okay, go, go, uh, Richard. Okay, two questions for the Um, where do we? Um, what are the best for the for the question. Um, uh, hello, sir. <laughs> Um, actually, so yung mga, uh, yung mga affiliate sites sa Philippines, kaya yung hindi pa ako shadow pang isa. And I just also learned yung, uh, yung uh, Lazada, uh, probably months ago. Or, uh, so, number one is sila. Yung yun, 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 how much money you know how possible theoretical amount of course we need okay so uh, yes kasi with and with gimster parang ang alam ko kasi sa kanila is media buying so for every banner that you put on your website they pay for that pero with us it's about conversions sir so it, it really depends on the efforts pero you can make um, at least fifteen thousand. If you if you're really religious, um, when it turns uh, when it comes to uh putting your links on every blog that you post. Does it also religious? No, sir. If you're really religious, but a lot would earn like five thousand, ten thousand every month. It's just not bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. 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 Sure out of the same from the salary. Yes, okay, it depends per category. So for electronics, we give 5% commission. And, uh, we're very generous in only commission. So every time we drive more traffic to the side, we give an extra commission. We have a question. Okay, so thank you to Mr. Siddhi and Sir Louis Susan for joining us here in Ayta Pilar. May di ba plugin natin si Richard? Picture mo na po. Picture mo na, picture. Ay, sir, picture mo na. Picture na natin ka na dito. Let's see, JJ. JJ. Uh, Saturday, JJ, when I chat. Okay, may hindi yan ang uh, close to the next We tried may yan ang scat. Punta na rin ang scat. Punta na rin ang scat. One of our sponsors, DJ. Yes, for the media team. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Richard from the Kawan of Liker TV and the Media Media Platform. Well, I'm Richard from the Kawan of Liker TV and the Media Media Platform. Well, I'm Richard from the Kawan of Liker TV and the Media Media Platform. Well, I'm Richard from the Kawan of Liker TV and the Media Media Platform. Well, I'm Richard from the Kawan of Liker TV and the Media Media Platform. Well, I'm Richard from the Kawan of Liker TV and the Media Media Platform. Well, I'm Richard from the Kawan of Liker TV and the Media Media Platform. Pupunta kayo para maglalagay sa list. 
Tapos, uh, we're also open. Man, marami kami yung kailangan na. So, pwede niyo kayo approach. Bigyan ko yung business card ko sa inyo. Bagong create na business card. Yeah. <laughs> Yan. Ayan po. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Sir Sini, you'll be Hoover na Lazada. Sign up na. Hey guys, if you have any questions about the affiliate program, you can approach me later. Or you can check out our website. Sa pinaka button ng site, there's an affiliate program button. And lastly, I'd like to invite you all. On December 10 to 12, we'll have the biggest sale of the year. So, sabarang madaming madaming uh, crazy views on site. Thank you. Thank you. Any closing remark from Ms. Janet Toran? Oh, that's JJ. That was according to JJ. Um, okay, draw na rin yung, uh, draw na rin yung winners. Okay, so we're looking 70 t-shirts, so unlike kahapon, we're just 70. So, ngayon, ano po po tayo? Uh, first and foremost, maraming salamat sa pag-join ng uh, IWM Eleven. Salamat ulit sa GMA Network, sa Rufos, uh, Travel Group, Development Foundation, Payoneer, uh, the Daily Media, Unbox.ph, uh, Lazada, uh, KKK Coffee, and uh, Unbox Printing for supporting IBOG 11. And uh, so, si Travel Book PH, and of course, si Ucos, uh, Baby Stampa. So, marami po salamat. Palakpakan naman po na yung mga sponsors na yun. Uh, uh, Nag-headcount po tayo ngayon. Ayan, we can do it as well. Yes, 150. Yes. Yeah. 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 Count na lang how many are there. Yes, Jane, trabaho mo ngayon yan. Ako ko na ito yung speakers siguro. As a force eleven to twelve, as a force eleven years na yung I vlog at nagpapasalamat ko kami dun sa mga lagi mga atin ng I vlog. Sana nag-enjoy kayo this year. Ano pa si ko yung difference kapag yung speaker, kapag yung vlogger natin, kapag yung speaker ay digital marketer. Uh, nakita niyo yung difference to way Carlo and uh, Donald present their ideas. Kasi siyempre, ibang mundo na yung ginagalawan nila. So, for those of you na nagpaklaro mag-crossover dun sa site nyo, at least meron kayong idea, makikita niyo rin kapag techie yung kausap nyo, kapag yung mga SEO na represent, nakikita niyo yung pagkakaiba nila the way they present, kapag medyo mas technically inclined yung ating uh, mga resource persons. Um, I guess we, we will be evaluating our performance this year on iBlog. We will also be or we will also be observing how you will respond after iBlog. Kung ano yung mga feedback nyo, yung mga blog posts nyo. Uh, Nakakatulong kasi yung para for us to decide whether we should have an iBlog again next year. So, if you want us to have an iBlog again next year, mag-blog tayo. <laughs> Here you go, man. No, I think you might have to do this next year. Uh, ano yung topic na gusto nyo? Ano yung topic na medyo? Uh, Make sure you do your host. Okay, so... Kailangan namin namin yung... 86. 86. Ilagyan t-shirt natin. Ah. Saan ko talaga? Ilagyan ko talaga yung printer. Ay, printer! Oo, saan ko talaga? Yes. Okay, so let's start. Palabas na po yung white stocks. It's white, not green. So, first number. Sige, para mabilis. Lapit lang kagad doon ha. 114, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0